is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video i just want to speculate on what is actually going on with a film that is said to be in the works from blumhouse blumhouse has been trying to or there's been rumblings since late last year when miramax mentioned that they had interest in using the screen property as well as hellraiser as like far as like their next phase moving forward those were in their plans uh to kind of i guess kick out more sequels from those franchises and then in early 2019 earlier this year we started hearing rumblings at blumhouse jason blum specifically he gave information that there were discussions of it and that they'd love to get their hands on that property and there was a slight interest in reviving properties such as uh scream and i know what you did last summer but i want to talk about scream because i feel like there is a reboot of sorts coming and when i say reboot i mean that in the way that we see it used pretty much all the time so people will say reboot and then it ends up being a sequel i believe a scream 5 is on the way not a sequel or not a reboot but a actual continuation to screen four now the reason i've said that is because jason blum he's never made he never made mention of wanting to actually reboot the property or as opposed to just getting his hands on it and putting more films out there from it so recently a report came out from discussing films stating that christopher landon who is behind the previously successful films or moderately successful films happy death day and happy death day to you reports came out that he would be writing and directing an upcoming horror film from blumhouse uh the interesting part was the fact that it said that the movie would be about a killer who wreaks havoc in a small neighborhood now that's not very original so that that's kind of where the speculation comes from and i doubt it's i doubt it's another remake of the town that dreaded sundown uh i doubt it has anything to do with the collector although that maybe it could also be the collector i don't i don't know um uh, because i do believe they were rumblings about the collector three happening but i'm pretty confident that this is screen because blumhouse has talked about doing this for quite some time uh miramax has been trying to it, they seem like they were trying to get another screen movie out there now the reason why i'm a little bit doubtful to assume or to conclude that it is in fact screen five is just because of the fact that it's not going to have involvement from Wes craven so without the involvement from Wes craven i know a lot of the people who are on board with the original quadrilogy of films they probably won't want to have anything to do with this so and the fact that also they have had at least one person say come out and say they had interest in it uh david arquette he said he would be down to come back for screen five but the report also mentions that production on this project is supposed to begin in October. So while the report states that production begins in October and there hasn't been any news regarding anything regarding the cast or anything, uh, I mean, that at the end of the day, it could still, in fact, be Screen 5, but I'm expecting it to probably end up being something else. But i'm gonna stick to my gut and probably just say that this is more than likely gonna end up being screen five i hope it does end up being screen five and i hope we get nev campbell back i hope we get courtney cox david arquette maybe even bring back hayden pantier because we still do not know if kirby actually lived or died at the end of screen four uh i just want to see a fifth and final film for this franchise that would pay tribute to Wes craven and his legacy now I would also bring back Kevin Williamson to kind of uh, act as like an executive producer on the film or act as a producer or someone to guide them in the right path. Someone to look at the script that Christopher Landon is going to write and kind of fine tune it and tweak it and suggest any changes that should be made, stuff like that. Uh, I would bring back Kevin Williamson because if you're not going to have Wes Craven, at least bring back Kevin. Uh, as far as like where I would like the narrative to go, that's kind of up to them. It sounds like... I mean, from the because from the end of Scream Four, I, I believe they were trying to talk. They were kind of talking about making Kirby the new lead. I wouldn't do that. I would just make Sydney be the lead. Make this be the final film. Ended in a bang. 
Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. Now, again, this could, in fact, be a reboot. This may be a movie that has nothing to do with the original property. Blumhouse may just be trying to do an entirely new, different Ghostface film. But let me know what you guys think about, about this report down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.